Well, we, as I said earlier, we'll keep in very close touch with our allies and partners who've been very supportive uh, on this issue. And we will continue to push back and contest the Russian view of the world in which their state operatives can carry out these sorts of attacks and can encourage and support the Syrian authorities in their attacks on civilians. So this is actually a, a continuum, if you like, of contesting that view of the world where you can act outside the norms of international rules and, and, and civilised behaviour. But I mean, practical measures, are, are there any practical measures that you're... Uh Ready or preparing no, today. there's nothing I can tell you on that at this time. Any other questions? Well, I think the Security Council is the right place because as we've shown today and as the Prime Minister said yesterday in Parliament, this was an attack on a British city uh, by state operatives of another state. Uh, so I think that does fall uh, fairly and squarely under the definition of threats to international uh, peace and security. So yes, the Security Council is the right place. Uh, and we were very encouraged by the very strong support uh, we got from an overwhelming majority of the Security Council today. Uh, and even those countries who were a bit equivocal about taking on Russia, even those countries called for a strengthened prohibition uh, on the use of chemical weapons. Uh, and that was actually universal uh, in the Council bar Russia. Uh, so I hope the Russians will take note of that. We didn't ask the Security Council for a decision. Uh, we just wanted to brief them, and that was the commitment we'd made to them. Uh, but I recall, again, the reason the Security Council has not been able to act on CW use in Syria is because of Russia. There's a circularity here. Uh, Russia is the key to upholding the universal ban on CW use, and the world would be better if Russia would join us in making that ban absolutely watertight. Thank you very much, everybody.